What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, my friends, we have a long one. We're ranking every single skin in Season 5 from worst to best. I'm not gonna mess around. If you enjoy the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also go ahead and chuck in the notification bell. But let's go ahead and begin the list. Now, dude, we have literally like 36 plus skins on this. I think it's like about 38 skins. I may have missed one, but I've gone through every single skin. I've looked at the dates, and I looked, um, Season 3 started on July the 12th. And basically, these skins are from July the 12th and onwards. So, yeah, this is basically every skin that's released in the item shop. And we also have, I think, one that didn't release in the item shop, but released during Season 5 anyway. Um, so, yeah, these are only skins that have released and came out while Season 5 has been active, um, including Battle Pass skins and skins in the item shop. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without waiting any longer, let's go ahead and begin the list. Um, so first out, we have in our last spot, the Far Out Man. Now, this skin is honestly the worst skin in the whole entire game, yet alone inside of Season 5. It is honestly just horrible, bro. It's like a hippie guy, you know? And then we also have, like, the girl version of this skin in our next spot, which is the Dream Flower. Bro, they're just horrible skins. They really are. They're absolutely horrible, in my opinion. They're my least favorite skin in the game. These both both these skins haven't released yet, but they are going to release. So I thought I'd add them onto the skin, uh, on, onto the list. Um, so yeah, our next spots are also another pair of two, and these skins are absolutely horrible. We have the mullet Maruda and the aerobic assassin. Now these skins are both like 70s skins or whatever they are, and they're honestly just absolutely horrible. Like they they just are. They're absolutely horrible skins in my opinion. Like they're just so bright. You're gonna stand like a, stand out like a sore thumb in game, and it's really just not what you want. They're honestly I can't say really much about these skins, dude. They're just really trash. Now our next spot is the Sun Strider. It's actually a battle pass skin. This skin like it isn't trash. Like, all the, uh, those other skins I said before, they're trash. This skin is okay, um, but compared to the other skins on the list, I think it's honestly just not as good as them. It is a Battle Pass skin, as I said, inside of the Season 5 Battle Pass, and yeah, um, not much really I can say about that. It's just not good compared to the other skins, but it is decent, um, you know. It's probably the worst skin in the Battle Pass, as I did when I did ranking Battle Pass skins a little while ago. It's probably the worst skin in the Battle Pass, but yeah. Next up, we have the Backbone, which is currently in the shop at the time of making this video. And the Backbone is basically like the uh, motorbike skin that we have actually seen, like that's in the shop right now, as I said before. And yeah, honestly, it's a pretty trash skin. It is a rare skin, um, so it is um, a blue rated skin or whatever. And it's honestly not very good in my opinion. Um, but yeah, next up, we actually have the Beast Boss. Now, the, the, this skin, you know... In reality, it's a trash skin. I know a lot of you guys like it because, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's literally like a burger man. It's, it's the beef boss, dude. This guy's got a burger face. It's, it's pretty cool. But in reality, it's a pretty trash skin. Um, I'm not really a fan of it at all. I don't really like this skin. And yeah, that's why it's pretty low on the list still. Um, next up, we have the Masked Fury. And also the skin that comes along that, which is like the Dynamo skin. These skins are pretty bad in my opinion. I don't even know what they are. They're like circus skins or something. They're just really bad skins in my opinion. I don't really like them at all. Um, they're pretty damn trash. That's all I really have to say about that. Next up though, we have the Suntan Specialist, like the boy version of the Sunstrider. This is a lot better than the Sunstrider in my opinion, but still, it's not an amazing skin. I just think there's a whole bunch of other good skins on the list that are a lot better than this. But yeah, that is the Suntan Specialist there. Next up, we have the Armadillo, which is um, a really, really good skin for the price. It's only 800 V-Bucks, and it is a pretty damn decent skin, in my opinion. Um, yeah, we also have a girl version of that, which is going to be coming a lot higher on the list. That's all I'm going to say. No spoilers, but yeah, I think the girl version is a lot better. But the male version of um, the Armadillo is there in that spot on the list. Next up, we actually have the Shade. Now, the Shade's a pretty cool skin. There is a boy version of this skin, which is the Maverick, which, once again, is going to be coming up a little bit higher on the list because I just like the uh, male version a lot better for the uh, Shade. But the Shade does look decent. It's got a really cool back bling. That's kind of why I like um, these skins. Um, but yeah, that is the Shade there in that spot. We next up have the Huntress, which is like the Tier 1. The second you buy the Battle Pass, you unlock yourself the Huntress. And that is like one of the, like literally the first battle pass skin you get when you get the season five battle pass. I think it's honestly a pretty good skin, honestly, dude. Um, I, I don't really see too many people use it in the game. I don't think um, it's like I think the drift is a lot better. That's why the skin's kind of underrated. Um, because people just always use the drift. But I think the huntress is a decent skin. It's like the girl Viking skin. It looks alright. Next up, we have the Enforcer, which is um, the special skin that you unlocked once you completed seven weeks of challenges. That's when you unlock the Enforcer. It's a decent skin. The reason why it's so low is it's, just, it's really plain. Um, it's just like a black, plain skin. Um, there's not really too much detail in it. Um, and the back bling isn't amazing either, and yeah, that's why it's so low on the list. You, a lot of you guys probably would rank it higher, but in my opinion, I, I think it's not very good. 
Next up, we have the Archetype. The Archetype is, once again, a decent skin. You guys can see now we're starting to get into the decent skins. Um, kind of around the middle of the list, I guess you could say. The Archetype's a really cool skin. It's, like, black and green. It looks mad. Um, it comes with a really cool pickaxe as well, um, which comes with, which looks amazing. Obviously, you have to buy the pickaxe separately, but it looks amazing anyway. Um, and, yeah, I rate the Archetype, bro. Such a great skin. And, yeah, next up, we have the Rec Raider. Now, the Rec Raider, once again, is a, a pretty decent skin. We're at that point where... We're looking at some decent skins. The Rec Raider is like the, um, I guess the boy version. It's like the snorkel ops, but not, you know, it's, it's like a snorkeling skin. Um, it's kind of like the boy version that we also have a girl version that which will be coming up later on in the list as well. Um, but this release, uh, kind of towards the start of the season, the Rec Raider is a decent skin. I don't have it myself. But next up, we have the Moniker, um, which is, like, basically in, like, the dead center of our list right here. The, the Moniker, I'm not even sure how you say this uh, skin, bro. It looks decent. It's pretty plain and ordinary, but I think it looks pretty damn clean, um, and it's honestly not a bad skin. Next up, we have the Chopper, which is the girl version which we had of the skin we had earlier on the list, which is the backbone. It's, like, the girl version of that, the Chopper. It looks really, really cool, and um, I think it's a lot better than the uh, backbone skin. And I think this one is actually pretty damn decent. So yeah, bro, the chop up, really great skin. Next up, we have another Battle Pass skin, and this is the Red Line. Now, the Red Line also came with the Battle Pass, as I said before. And it's basically like the guy version of, like, that other motorbike skin we saw. This is kind of like another motorbike skin. Um, and honestly, dude, it looks pretty damn decent, in my opinion. Um, I really, really do like the Red Line. Probably one of my favorite skins in this Battle Pass. Um, and yeah, it's in that spot on the list. Kind of towards just over the middle, so we're getting into the pretty damn decent skins now. And the Red Line is starting that off. Now, next up, we actually have the Musha. Now, the Musha is a pretty new skin to release. And it was like, it's like the guy Samurai skin. It was pretty new, probably about a week ago at the time of making this video that it released inside of the game. Um, and the Musha is honestly a pretty decent skin. Now, next up we have the Maverick, which the Maverick is, uh, we went, we went over the girl version of that before, which was the uh, shade, but the Maverick I like a lot better. I think it looks a lot cleaner and it has a really, really cool back bling. I'm pretty sure the back bling is very similar to the one on this shade, but I just honestly like the Maverick a lot better. I really want to buy this skin because I was actually away when it did release and I really want to buy it because the back bling does look mad. But next up we have the Reef Ranger. Once again, we have, this is like the girl snorkel skin. We went through the guy snorkel skin before. I think the girl one looks a lot better. It comes with a lot better back bling as well in my opinion. But I think I'd rather the snorkel ops over both of these skins. But I think the Reef Ranger is definitely pretty decent as well. Now, next up we have the Scorpion. The Scorpion is um, an 800 V-Bucks skin. It's the girl version of the Armadillo, which, as I said before, this is a lot higher than the Armadillo on the list. Literally, literally probably the opposite side of the list as the Armadillo. And it is just such a great skin, in my opinion. Probably my favorite 800 V-Bucks skin, other than the Nogops, probably. But yeah, it's a great skin. We have the Magnus, which is next on the list. The Magnus is a legendary skin. Came out, like, towards the very, very start of Season 5. It was one of those start skins. It's like the male version of the Huntress, kind of. Kind of, it looks the same. It comes with a really cool back one as well. It's like a cape, a furry cape. Looks pretty mad. Next up, we have the Rook. The Rook is, um, you know, that Battle Pass skin. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's about tier 70. It's probably my favorite skin um, in the whole entire Battle Pass. I would probably say the Drift, maybe a little bit better than the Gra Ragnarok, but this is honestly not too far behind. The only reason why the Rift, and the, the Drift and the Ragnarok are better is because they're customizable. But other than that, I think the Rook is definitely an amazing skin. Once again, we have the Hime next up, and the Hime is the Girl Samurai. I think it looks a little bit better than the Guy Samurai. That's obviously why it's higher on the list, and I really do like these Samurai skins. They look really, really cool, but I think the Hime is a lot better than the Musha skin, though. We have the Chomp Senior next up. The Chomp Senior has that really cool Shark back bling, and it is just an amazing legendary skin. I really, really like the Chomp Senior. Now, the, one of the best skins, value for money-wise, is the Sushi Master, and that's why it's up on this uh, spot on the list. It's honestly a great skin by itself, and for 1,200 V-Bucks, it comes with a back bling, which is pretty rare for skins um, that are only 1,200 V-Bucks, so I thought I'd just say that about the Sushi Master. A really, really cool skin, bro, for 1,200 V-Bucks. I love the skin, and the back bling looks pretty decent as well, you know? You, you, you're getting what you're, what you're, you're getting what you're paying for, I guess, for 1,200 V-Bucks. I think that's how I say it right. Um, now, next up, we actually have a skin that hasn't released yet, but it just got announced yesterday. This is the Wild Card. And the Wild Card is um, the skin that's coming out in the brand new Fortnite event, which is going to be coming out. Um, and yeah, this skin honestly looks really cool. We haven't seen it in game yet, but we've seen it teased by Fortnite itself. And the Wild Card skin looks absolutely amazing. 
Now, the Overtaker is a skin I really regret not buying. Um, I really do wish I bought these skins. I don't know where I was when these skins came out, the Overtaker and the Whiteout, but we have the Overtaker a little bit lower than the Whiteout on the list, though. Um, the Overtaker, though, is like the, it's just like a the plain white motorbike skin. The Overtaker does look pretty damn decent, in my opinion, and I just think that Whiteout's a little bit better, though. Next up, we have the Starter Pack skin. You guys are like, what? The Starter Pack skin's this high up? Yes, it is. We have the Ace um, it's, it's pretty damn hype on the list. I just love this skin, honestly. That's really all I can say about the Ace. Um, but next up, we have the Ragnarok. Uh, the Ragnarok, obviously, the tier 100 skin inside of Fortnite. Um, I absolutely love the Ragnarok, bro. It's a really cool skin once you get at that max customizable level, uh, which is about 500,000 XP. So, yeah, definitely a great skin. I love that one, bro. And then we have the Whiteout. The Whiteout, as I said, a little bit better than the Overtaker. I really want to buy this skin, bro. It comes with a really cool back bling. It just is a really clean skin overall. Now, another one next up on the list. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to see, why is this so on the list? The Drift, bro. I love the Drift so much. It comes with the Rift Edge as well. And you really can't go wrong with the Drift. It just looks so amazing when it's so high up. I know a lot of you guys, I saw someone comment on a recent video um, uh, when I was, I was talking about the Drift. And they were like, bro, the Drift is trash. Um, it's everyone used the skin. That doesn't make it trash. Just because everyone uses the skin doesn't mean it's trash. Um, I think I just love the Drift, bro. It just looks amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and next up, we have another skin that hasn't released. This is the Cloaked Star. Now, the Cloaked Star is um, like the ninja skin that's coming from Save the World. It's a great skin, bro. I love it. Now, next up, we have the Panda Team Leader. This is our number three spot on the list. We're getting towards, like, the number one spot. Very, very close. The Panda Team Leader looks amazing. It's a skin that I bought myself, and I'm trying not to buy many skins anymore, but I've managed to buy uh, this Panda Team. It looks mad. I love all the team leaders, but the Panda Team is probably my favorite out of all of them. Now, number two spot I thought I'd add on the list. It hasn't really been in the item shop or anything, but it did release in Season 5, and this is the Galaxy skin. Now, the Galaxy skin, obviously, at, you have to buy or just play three games on a Samsung phone with Fortnite on it, and that's how you get yourself the Galaxy skin. I know I didn't add some skins on here that have released, like, the, um, the, uh, Save the World skins that you get for Buy and Save the World. I didn't think I'd add them on because, like, you can get them whenever. You can get them now whenever, so whenever you buy Save the World, you can get them. But the Galaxy is in our number two spot, in our number one spot as the best Season 5 skin, it's the Ravage. I don't know what else to say, bro. The Ravage is just such a great skin. And it is probably my favorite in the whole entire season. You guys probably didn't agree with my list, but if you did, uh, smash the like button. If you didn't as well, smash the like button, lads. If you got it all the way to the end of this video, tell me in the comment section below that, um, let's just comment pineapple so I know that you got it all the way to the end of the video, and I'll heart your comment. Maybe even drop you guys a reply, okay? But ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed this list. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.